What's up you guys and welcome back to another round of this survival mode playthrough and so I think that in this or I think that this time I am going to go and do the mission for uh, Kessler and I'm going to go and uh, I think it's kill Zeller but we're gonna go ahead and head that way in just a second I just wanted to come up here real quick to get this magazine, Fine. the live and love. Permanently gain 25% experience from persuading men. So yeah, that could be pretty good, especially if I pair that with the uh, with the Black Widow perk. Now that I'm getting my charisma up, I should be able to start persuading people finally <laughs> hi I'm Meg Can you need to... all right go ahead and eat real quick and then I'm gonna head this way Keep checking out for mines. I do keep hitting the vats just in case. I want to make sure that I spot them before they blow me up. So we're going to head over here to a settlement, county crossings, and then from there back across another bridge towards, uh, I believe, that Zeller and some raiders are located in a school okay no mines I thought there was gonna be mines on that bridge I guess maybe it's just the one the one bridge over there a oh, super mutant skirmisher oh, well he's far enough over there to where I don't think that they should attack. We'll see. <sighs> Alright, and so here is w another one of the settlements county crossings let's go ahead and see if we can find somebody spy on me we could really use your help I'd be glad to help if I can something nasty's living just around the corner from here it's only a matter of time before there's some real trouble what's really too bad is it'd be a nice spot for a new settlement in fact I know some folks that would love to set up there if it was safe if you can make sure the old workshop there is still in one piece, anyone who decides to move in later will be able to rebuild. No problem. I'll take care of him for you. I hope so. We didn't know what to do. Heads up. You say so you found a minute for me yet? Sure thing. Just what you said about Nat. I've been going over it again and again in my head, and what you said was right. Family's too precious. What kind of life is she going to have if I never go near her again? It's just... Sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the paper. Having someone I can count on, someone like you, it's meant a lot to me. Not a lot of people want to hang around with a nosy reporter. Yeah, but you're my kind of nosy. <laughs> you're the exception. 
I haven't exactly made a lot of friends in this career. I just wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. That's it. I started the paper more as an act of desperation than anything else. Turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things to change. After the first couple of editions, people may not have agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. Sounds like you really cleaned up Diamond City. Well, a lot of things got done. They even put a second bookshelf over that hole and patched it with bricks. When that first edition hit the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But afterwards, things... things changed. People didn't want to talk the way they used to. It seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper, friend and confidant, to Piper, the nosy snoop. A lot of folks, they haven't treated me the same since. I started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. You can count on me, Piper. I know I can. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. I was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but... Being here with you now... Now I don't know. I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. I just never expected I'd actually get them. So thank you. For being the friend I can count on. I feel the same way. There's no one I'd rather have watching my back. And I'll be there for you, as long as you'll have me. Now, come on, let's hit the road. Boom, there we go, Gift of Gab. And so I've finally gotten max affinity with Piper, and she has now given me her perk. Hmm. Well, you guys, I think that I am going to go ahead and, well, I'm going to get the key from right here. And then I am going to use the tunnel as soon as I find it. Um, let's see, I'm not quite sure where it is located at this base. Um Anything I can do? You just say the word. There we go. And then I uh, Let's see, I think that I'm just going to head back to uh, the Starlight Drive-In. Actually, I'm just going to go to Sanctuary because that's where my best uh, bed is at. And then I'm going to go ahead and save it there. And then I will go ahead and figure out real quick which companion I want to get next. I'm probably going to uh, go and get, I'm not sure which companion, so I'm not going to say yet, and then I'm going to go and uh, at least finish that one miss mission for Kessler before I go back to uh, doing the stuff with Nick, and then I'll probably then after that go and, go and get Nick and up until the point to where I kill Keller or find Keller and uh, yep so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do and so I'll go ahead and see you guys next time <laughs>